the electric gypsy. In the heart of the neon-drenched streets of Los Angeles, there whispered tales of an electric gypsy, a wandering specter strumming strings of fire on a guitar that hummed with otherworldly energy. They said he was once a rock star who sought eternal life, only to be cursed to roam the electric veins of the city, unseen, unheard, except by those on the brink of the abyss. Jesse was a musician, his life a cliché of hard days and even harder nights. His band was on the verge of falling apart, and his dreams of stardom were fading fast. That's when he first heard about the electric gypsy. They said the gypsy's guitar, a relic adorned with strange symbols, could grant the talent and fame Jesse so desperately craved. One night, as the city lay soaked in a torrential downpour, Jesse stumbled upon an alley where the neon lights flickered erratically. At the end of this alley, he found an old guitar case, its surface wet from the rain, but pulsating with an eerie glow. Compelled by desire, Jesse reached out and opened the case. Inside lay the legendary guitar, its strings shimmering like live wires. Jesse's fingers trembled as they caressed the fretboard. A shock jolted through him, and he began to play. The music was unlike anything he had ever heard. It was a symphony of lightning, a cascade of power that flowed from his fingers. It was in that moment that Jesse vanished from the world, and the tale of the electric gypsy found its new chapter. Days turned into weeks, and rumors spread of a spectral figure seen in the dead of night. An apparition wrapped in a cloak of shadows with a guitar that blazed like the sun. Jesse's bandmates searched for him, hoping for his return. But they too began to feel the pull of the cursed instrument. One by one, they were drawn to the alley where Jesse had vanished. They heard the strains of a guitar solo that seemed to echo from the abyss, and they too disappeared, leaving behind nothing but the resonance of their last note. The city's underbelly buzzed with the legend of the electric gypsy, the haunted musician who played the soundtrack to the forgotten and the lost. Uh, it was said that on stormy nights, when the boundary between worlds grew thin, you could hear his music, a medley of yearning and sorrow, a lament for a life spent chasing a dream that burned too bright. As years passed, the electric gypsy became a cautionary tale, a story whispered amongst the hopeful and the desperate. Some claimed to have seen him, a figure riding the currents of the city's power lines, a ghostly minstrel whose music held the secrets of eternity. They said that if you're ever alone on the streets of L.A. at night, with aspirations as heavy as the dark sky above, you might catch a glimpse of the electric gypsy. And if you do, turn away, unless you too wish to become a part of his endless serenade, a note suspended in the city's everlasting song. But Jesse... Now a phantom bound to his electric muse continues to play, his soul interwoven with the strings of the guitar. The electric gypsy roams, a legend living in the liminal space between reality and myth, forever searching for the next soul to join his eternal ensemble. And so, the story goes, beware the allure of the electric gypsy for his music is a siren call to those who dream too fiercely, a melody that promises the stars but leads only to the void.